Let's continue cooking. Thirteen fifteen. Uh, 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 Tangulu. Okay. Hello, I'm so happy to meet you. Thank you. I have so many Spring Festival recipes I want to share. The Lunar New Year is my favorite season. How about we start with Tang Hu? It's one of my favorite festival snacks. Laiba, follow me. Okay, following. Tang Hu is pretty easy to make. It's basically just fruit with a hardened sugar shell. Let's make that first, then some tea to go with it. Make, make a skewer, skewer with, with six, six hawthorn berries. Okay. Six pieces per steak for good luck. Well, okay. I suppose any even number works, as long as it isn't four. <laughs> Don't do four these days. Four is often considered to be extremely unlucky because okay. four is si, and it sounds like death, which is si. Okay. Now, in my time, we made Tang Hulu with mainly Shanja or Haothong berries. Shanja are super bitter though, so let's throw in some sweeter fruits you may be more familiar with. <coughs> Make too much we're using fruits of your choice. Six on each. Okay. Do I have to have the same one? One. Giving people oranges for New Year's is such a fun tradition. The word for orange, ju, sounds like lucky, which is ji. So when you give someone an orange, you say good luck or da ji da li. Okay. Oh. Um, okay, so oranges are good. I like oranges. Strawberry. I don't like this one. Need another strawberry. Uh, it's a mandarin, isn't it? Looking good. Yeah. Now let's bring those over to the left walk. The what now? Oh. <laughs> okay. Place five scoops of water in the wok. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Use wood to start a hot fire under the wok. Mm. Excellent. That will make a hot fire. Okay. Add all the rock sugar to the water and let it boil. The lab wait for the sugar to melt. Then we want the candy to have a satisfying crunch, right? So you need to heat the sugar until it boils and reaches what we call hard crack temperature. Once the skewers are coated, place them on the serving tray to cool off. Make sure to cover all the fruit on each skewer.
Yes, good. Now let's make the tea. Mmm. How about a nice oolong? That'll go well with the fruit. Well, I'd call it oolong today, but in my time, we called it wee tea. Does it need water? Put two spoonfuls of oolong tea powder into the teacup. Pour boiling water over the tea powder to fill the cup. That's what I thought. There's no water in here. Dumb fuck. Add one spoon of salt to reduce the bitterness. Whisk the tea until the... Oh, make sure you whisk it really well. This style of whisked tea makes the top look like it's covered in a layer of clouds. I think it's also how they make matcha in Japan today. Place the meal on the serving table and ring the bell. So far, so good. But these taste as good as they look. No, I don't think so. There's not enough cloud. Mmm. Mm, pretty, pretty good. A little more practice and you have it perfect. Oh, what? Now what? Eh. Sounds like she was happy with the Tong Hulu. You didn't bring uh, back any for me, did somewhere. you? Just kidding. Huh. Rude. Fine. Ready for the next recipe? Yeah, okay. Something about it smells a little fishy. Ha ha, you are so funny. Welcome back. Ready to make some qingzheng yu or steamed fish? <laughs> it's a pun. In Chinese, Fish and extra are both pronounced yu. It's tradition to leave some fish uneaten to symbolize having extra savings at the end of the year. Steamed whole fish. Okay. Uh. Okay, fine. Uh. Use the knife. Use the knife to dice the scallion over the platter to cover it. This is a knife? Ginger, get out of the way. Yes, I know what it is. Dicing the scallion gives you lots of little pieces that will cook evenly and add a nice texture to the dish. Plate the fish on top of the scallions and coat it with one spoon of salt. A bed of scallion. A scallion bed. Good God. I 
XP. Really? A spoon of coated with a spoon of salt. Oh god. Well. Julienne, the ginger with the knife, to cover the fish. To julienne, something means to cut it into matchstick-sized pieces. This will add another interesting texture. Julienne cuts also work well for garnishes. Let's put it on here artfully. Scoop the ginger with a knife. What? Wait, what? Julienne the ginger with the knife to cover the fish. Yes. Add some cilantro and a drizzle for wine on top of the fish. Would start a hot fire under the left walk. Left walk. Add water. Oh. Place two scoops of water in the walk. Place the plate with the fish the left wok is ready to cook with. What? Place the, place the plate with the fish. Good. Now we are all set up to start steaming the fish. Start a fire under the second wok on the right to prepare the sauce. That was the easy part. Hope you are ready for some multitasking. No. To make the sauce, combine two scoops of water and equal parts soy sauce, sesame oil, and wine. Two scoops of water? <clears throat> the wok on the right is ready to cook now. Yes. Okay. Equal parts soy sauce, sesame, sesame. God. To the sauce, add all of the rock sugar and two spoons of white pepper. This is rock sugar, although in my time we called it sugar frost or sugar ice. Just a bit of sweetness can elevate the whole dish. Oh, <laughs> now that smells good. Bring the sauce to a boil. Remove the steamed fish once it's ready. Scoop one full lid of sauce and pour onto the steamed fish. Is it done? There, doesn't that look delicious? Garnish the fish with parsley. Is this parsley? It's cilantro, isn't it? Oh, there's the parsley. There's not any cilantro on there, but well, I wouldn't want to have parsley on it as well. Oh, pretty. Mm. 
place the meal on the serving table and ring the bell. I cannot wait to try. Okay, let's see how you did. 年年有余 Oh, that means may you always have more than you need. Just something you say when you are eating the fish. So, 年年有余 Ah, the fish is pretty good. A wonderful sign for the new year. Pretty good. Was it awesome? Now what? So you successfully made wow. New Year's steamed whole fish, huh? More calendro. Well, you know what they say: give a person a fish, he'll eat for a day. Okay, I know you can do this. Dong Po awaits. Dong pork. 新年快乐 ，Happy New Year! This recipe is Dongpo pork. My family used to have this during special occasions: pork belly, bok choy, shiitake mushrooms. Mmm, I can't wait. Julienne a good amount of ginger with a knife into the bowl. You know, don't pull pork. It's named after looking good. Now let's bring those over to the left walk. Good God. In the left wok, combine two scoops of water, the pork belly, and half of the ginger. Two scoops of water. The key to a good piece of pork belly is to pick a nice pink piece, not too red, definitely not brown or purple. And you want a good layer of fat. In fact, about a third of the whole cut should be fat. That's where all the flavor is. You are blanching the pork now, which will get rid of the impurities and make the pork easier to cube. Use wood to start a hot fire under the wok with the pork. A steady supply of wood can get expensive. The shape of the wok does a good job of evenly distributing the heat and helping you get the most out of your fuel. Cool. Once the pork belly is cooked, take it out and cut it into four cubes with a knife. The left wok is ready to cook with. In the second wok on the right, place a layer of. Whole scalp. Originally, pork was so expensive only nobles could eat it. When it became cheaper, the nobles stopped appreciating it. Ah, <sighs> so silly. Oh, quick tip: if you put the scallions at the base of your wok, they'll keep the meat from sticking. Means you don't have to stir. Now add to the scallions a cinnamon stick, two bay leaves, two star anise, and the remaining ginger. Lastly, add the soy sauce, Shaoxing wine, and half of the rock sugar. Soy sauce. Shaoxing wine is the oldest wine in China. You add this stuff to your stir fry, and it'll taste ten times better. And half of the sugar. But it's good. Five second rule. Five second rule. Here we go. Give me one. 
Oh, come on. Use wood to start a hot fire under the wok to heat up the sauce. Pork cubes. Oh. Add the pork cubes to the sauce and boil until the pork is cooked through. The wok on the right is ready to cook now. Place the steamer in the first wok over the water you used to boil. Actually, Dongpo pork wasn't named after Su Dongpo until much later during the Ming Dynasty. They liked naming things after it's people the then. In the first work, blah blah blah. Yeah. Place four. Use the ladle to divide the sauce and pork cubes between the four bowls. Cover with the lid to steam. Oh, and don't worry about cooking the pork for too long. All the fat in the meat will just make it softer the longer you cook it. There are a few legends about how Dongpo pork got popular, but my favorite is the one that says Su Dongpo made this dish after he helped his village recover from a major flood. The villagers gave him a bunch of pork as thanks, and he turned it into this dish and shared it with them. Cut all the bok choy in half with a knife. Bok choy may not look like much, but it's so good for you. I've never had it. Fill the now empty wok with two scoops of water. When boiling, add the bok choy. One time, I forgot my bok choy and let it boil for way too long. It turned to mush. So remember, long cooking times are great for pork belly, not so great for bok choy. Five second rule. Five second rule. Two second rule. What is it? Eating it, so whatever. Empty the wok used for the bok choy. It's essential to have some vegetables with your dongpo pork to offset the fattiness. Oops. 
sorry. Empty, empty the wok used for bok choy. What is the bok choy? Is that the bok choy? The shiitake mushroom curves in it. Oh. Your left fire is out. Is it? Oh, that's dumb. There we go. The name shiitake is actually Japanese. Here we go. Something is burning. Yeah. Add liquids to the mushrooms to create a sauce. Use equal parts soy sauce, Shaoxing wine, and rice vinegar. I don't know. Good I am cooking. Now add one spoon of garlic and the remaining rock sugar to the mushrooms and sauce. Once cooked, place the mushrooms and sauce in the middle of the bok choy. What is the bok choy? What? The mushroom and the sauce in the middle of the bok choy. I have no idea what you're on about. Let's just. Dip the teapot in the water bucket to fill it. Place the meal on the serving table and ring. Put two spoonfuls of green tea powder into the teacup. The fire on the right is out. Hey, what are you doing here? Go away. Shiitake are great for your health, too. They make great medicine as well as good food. Okay. Once cooked, place them, dip the teapot in the water bucket to fill it. Now you tell me. Put the teapot on the up. Put two spoonfuls of green tea powder into the teacup. This is gonna be a uh, minus star. Pour boiling water over the tea powder to fill the cup. That's a little much. Add one spoon of salt to reduce the bitterness. Oh, make sure you whisk it really well. This style of whisked tea makes the top. There's a legend that tea was discovered Ugh. when the mythological figure Shen Nong drank a cup. Mm. That smells delicious. Does it? Oh my god. Five second rule, five second rule. Oh fuck that. No, no, no. Oh stop it. Oh, let's hope this was worth the wait. Look, 
What? Okay, okay. Seems like you've been learning something. This is some good Dongpur Park. Is it? Or uh, I'm doing worse than Greece. I knew you had it in. with the ingredients. Wow. Very impressive. Let's try boiling the rice vinegar in mushroom sauce for longer. What? Adding more green tea powder will make you tea. You said two. Come on. Good. On to the next kitchen. It's in the heart of the Maya civilization in the Yucatan Peninsula, circa 1500s. Hmm. We'll do that next time. My notes say, little old lady, lots of opinions, wants to share recipes for her Nal Pishan. Okay. 